Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Diva Designing on a Dime with Kimberly Davis. Today, I am participating in a challenge hosted by two of my beautiful sisters, Kenya's Decor Corner and Miss V. They are hosting, and let me grab my cell phone so I can get all the info right. They are hosting the Slow Cooker Challenge. What they wanted us to do with this challenge, they wanted us to prepare a meal or appetizer using a crock pot or instant pot or rice cooker, pressure cooker, etc. And we are to include the recipe in our description box. That sounds easy enough, right? If you've seen me cook on my channel, you know I love simple recipes, but they must be delicious, all right? Um, I'm going to prepare today a cube steak in my crock pot. Guys, I've had a taste for these cube steaks and I was like, okay, yes, this is what I'm gonna prepare in my crock pot for this challenge. So, let me show you the ingredients. All right, guys, the items that you will need for these cube steaks, they are, of course, cube steak, right? <laughs> I have uh, about six or eight of these in this pack, and these two packs here. You will need some cream of chicken soup, and I picked this up by Campbell's. I also picked up this French onion soup by Campbell's. I also have some gravy, a gravy mix here. By McCormick. have my salt and pepper here to season the cube steaks as well as my onion powder that's in my drawer my seasoned drawer you will also need some cornstarch and some water but that will come later right now guys I'm going to prep my meat I'm going to wash my meat, uh, pat it dry, and season it and get it ready for my slow cooker. I have my meat washed. I'm going to season it with salt and pepper to taste. As well as some onion powder here. Even though I have the French onion soup, I like mine a little more oniony. <laughs> I love that onion uh, taste, guys. And then I'm gonna flip it over and season the other side. I'm smelling the, the seasonings on these cube steaks. It smells good already and it's not even cooked. All right, there is my salt. And that's, guys, I'm not using uh, a real salt. It's salt free. It tastes like salt, but it's not. 
um, we are watching sodium intake around here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Alright, this is salt and the pepper. Let me put a little onion salt on here. By the way, I have my crock pot on low already. Nothing's in here. But I do have it on low. And it's already warm. I'm going to spray my crock pot here. Some cooking spray. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to combine the ingredients down here. Probably going to need a spoon here. <laughs> For this soup we'll see so it came out easy so there's my cream of chicken soup here's my French onion soup here's my gravy mix there and I will also need a half a cup of water so here's my half a cup of water. I'm gonna pour it in and I'm gonna mix it well. Now guys, uh, I'm not gonna do the whole meal. I know they said they wanted the meal in the crock pot. But um, I'm just going to do my cube steaks in the crock pot. Uh, what I'm serving with this though, I'm serving some brown rice and some cabbage. Alright. Oh, that looks good. Smells good. And now I will add my cube steak in this crock pot here. Guys, this will cook for six to eight hours on low. Your house is going to smell good, especially if you make this uh, before you go to work. <laughs> when you come back home, OMG, this will smell your house up. You'll be ready to dig into this when you walk in the door. <laughs> Yes, I'm getting all of this into this crock pot. I do have bigger crock pots, but I wanted to do it in this crock pot here. And this is uh, eight pieces here. I thought I had six, but I have eight. <laughs> all right. So that is that. So guys, uh, I'm going to push this back here, get my kitchen all cleaned back up here, this little area here cleaned up, and I'll see you back here in eight hours. Alright guys, 30 minutes prior to serving this cube steak, you need to mix together three tablespoons of cornstarch as well as three tablespoons of water. Once you have this mixed thoroughly, pour it into the crock pot. This will thicken the gravy in there. Alright guys, and here's my dinner for this evening. The cube steak with some brown rice. I drizzled some of that gravy on top with some green onion and my cabbage and I crumbled a little bacon on the on the cabbage as well. Good eats guys. 
Well guys, that is the end of this video. I hope that you would give this recipe a try. They are so good, so delicious. My family loves them every time I prepare them. Don't forget guys to go check out my girls, Kenya over at Kenya's Decor Corner and Veronica over at Miss V. Their channels are amazing and you will love them. Miss V will have a playlist of all the participants who are participating in this challenge. Don't forget to check that playlist out. Once it's available, I will also copy it and place it in my description box as well. Don't forget too that the recipe for these cube steaks, they will be listed in the description box also. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and share. And if you have not done so, I would love for you to become a part of the family here just by pushing that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, when you subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell up top there so you will be notified of all the videos that I upload. I do upload videos every week. I can be followed on other social media sites, which are Facebook, Instagram, slash IGTV, Pinterest, as well as Twitter. The links to those social media sites, they will be listed in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching. You take care, you be blessed, and I will see you on the next video. Love you guys. Have a blessed day.